Hey friends, uh, Chef Wainaina here at home. Welcome back to my channel. Let's make some osobuco. Osobuco is a classic and very popular Italian dish which traditionally uses veal shanks. In our kitchen today, I'm going to use beef center shanks which are readily available in local supermarkets and the good thing about them, they are budget friendly. So let's go ahead and open these shanks, tie them with a butcher's twine, dredge them in flour, and then we'll go ahead and start searing them and start the rest of the dish. So once our tying is done, I'm going to dredge uh, this, wipe off the excess flour. The flour here helps uh, with the browning. So the idea here is uh, we want to get a nice sear on this, and at the same time, this flour will help us uh, to thicken slightly uh, the sauce that will come from this. We are going to do braising, uh, which is long cooking. Tying these, uh, make sure that at least when you are cooking, they are going to hold together. They are not going to fall apart. We will start our osobuco by first adding some vegetable oil onto a hot pan here, which is almost smoking. And then we are going to add our dredged shins or the osobucos onto the pan. You want to sear these on each side for about uh, two to three minutes until they are nicely browned on all sides. So I'm going to lay them here carefully. If you don't have a, a pan that can fit them all, uh, you can do them in turns. Awesome. I will let those brown for about two minutes and then I'm going to come back and turn them. After about three minutes or so, nicely browned on one side, I'm going to flip them or turn them and have them brown on the other side. After about three minutes or so, definitely, the other side is nicely browned, as you can see. I'm going to remove this onto a plate. The next step, I'm going to drain off a little bit of this oil, and then we are going to do the aromatics. I have about a half a cup of onions here, white onions are chopped and then about another half a cup of carrots here. I'm going to add this into the pan here. Traditionally, braces take aromatics, which is or mirepoix, uh, which is carrots, onions, and celery. I'm just opting to use onions and carrots here for our recipe. So the key is to brown these. I'm going to cook this until they are nicely browned. I'm going to add about six cloves of garlic, chopped. I also have about a teaspoon of thyme, which I chopped, and rosemary, which I also chopped. I'm going to add this in there. Give this a turn. Into our aromatics, I'm going to add a, a tablespoon of tomato paste. Have it caramelized. Caramelizing the tomato paste uh, develops a more deeper flavor. Once the tomato paste are caramelized, I'm going to add about a cup of cooking wine. Uh, you can definitely use uh, your table wine if you have some. Uh, you can definitely skip this step. I will raise the heat here and let this reduce. Braises are all about uh, developing and railing the flavors. We are going to let this wine uh, reduce a little bit. Our wine has nicely reduced. We're going to add one small tin of beef broth. This is actually store-bought. So the next 
thing I'm going to add here, which is classic to Osobucos, is tomatoes, nicely diced tomatoes. Take a spatula and stir everything in here. I will add like a teaspoon of dry oregano. This is classic. And then add one big bay leaf. We are going to put back our shanks, the osobuco. Just lay it carefully. You want the liquid to cover it just about halfway. Just nudge them in. Add all the accumulated juices back. That is flavor. So that's what you're looking for. So I'm going to cover this pot uh, tightly. I set the oven at 350 and then bake them for about an hour and a half or so. Covered with alumina into the oven it goes. So as our osobuco works in the oven, I'm going to peel three potatoes here and make mashed potatoes which are going to be the side for our dish. I'm also going to make gremolata, which is a classic uh, for osobuco. Our potatoes are done, peeled and carried to chunks. They go into this pot here and they'll go on the stove until they are cooked and then we are going to make a simple nice mashed potatoes. For the gremolata, I have some parsley here, I have one lemon, I have one large clove of garlic, some salt and pepper. Always make sure you wash your herbs, especially if you are going to eat them straight before cooking. Then with a microprint, get some of the zest here. Classic gremolata sometimes I uh, use this anchovy. Still on the table here, just a hint of salt, pepper, and then. This looks good to me, I will set aside. This gives a nice uh, zesty uh, burst of flavor to the dish. Acts as a nice garnish. Now, all we can do is wait. So once our potatoes were fully cooked uh, and tasting them, I added a touch of cream, a knob of butter, salt, pepper, and some olive oil. And then using a potato masher, I mash them until they are nice and creamy. So it's been about an hour and a half. Look at that, beautiful. Cook this with a fork, look at that. So the fork runs through smoothly, so that means everything is nicely cooked. I will take these chunks or the osobucos carefully now and lay it on a plate right here. You can discard this bay leaf, it's done its job. Pick out one more. So for our sauce here, I'm going to turn the heat up, skim some of the excess fat that has formed, and then reduce it just slightly, and then we will serve. Our sauce is nicely reduced. Take a plate and serve up our beautiful osobuco here. Nice heaping mashed potatoes here. Take this one of this beautiful shank. Some of this beautiful sauce. Drizzle it right on top, around the plate. Our beautiful gramolata. And there you have it. Time to give our osobuco here a nice taste some mashed potatoes, some of the sauce here. Remember to dig some of the marrow here. That is a secret in this. So there you have it friends, after an hour and a half of braising in the oven, 
you are also buko comes out very nice and soft the flavors come together if you try this it's a dish that you and your family i'm certainly sure that you will enjoy you can serve it with mashed potatoes as i did it's perfect classically with risotto you can do that you can do it with the rice pasta whatever you have for the sides it works perfectly thank you so much for watching remember to watch some of my other videos too and if it's your first time here today remember to like comment and subscribe i will definitely see you next week thank you as always